Hey guys, what's up? Jasper's here and welcome back to the vlog. I know, I know it's been a few days, but hey, I've been catching up with some much needed rest. Also, my Teespring orders, aka the Jasper's deck, Danger Print merch has finally reached Singapore. Boom! Look at these bad boys. In fact, I actually picked up one of each hoodie. So there you go, that's the black Danger Print merch and the white Danger Print merch. Pretty awesome! Unfortunately, these babies are already sold out, so eh, I, I have no idea why I'm telling you guys about this. I'm, I'm not bringing them back. If you want to be up to date with that kind of stuff, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. You see, because I get sent cards quite a lot on this channel, some time ago I decided like, hey, let's send these cards out. Let's give it away to some of, some of the more vocal subscribers. You know, the, the guys that would actually use these cards and show off these cards and have fun with these cards. In the brick right now, there's actually 5 decks of cards and when we hit 12 decks of cards, we'll be giving away the entire brick. The first one is these ones. Uh, uh, uh. The second ones are the awesome super fly playing cards. The third deck is the awesome Pudo. Pudo? I think I'm getting it right this time. Hopefully, lucky draw playing cards. These ones. Ooh, these babies. One of my favorites. And finally, the fifth one is the exotic trainers. The gold and blue ones that you saw in one of the previous videos. So yeah, to win this awesome brick of playing cards, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below on every single video that you do watch. And I'll just look for my favorite commenter and you know send him the good stuff. But today, yours truly, the professional real magic of Jasper's deck, shall do an unboxing video. Some of you guys had the impression that we wouldn't be doing any more unboxings. That's not true. I still get sent stuff a lot. So I have to open them on camera. So let's check it out. First up is a really flat pack. Not sure what this is. Let's open it up. Oh shit! Yeah! Let's get these out here. Ooh, stickers too. Very nice. Very fancy. So the first package I open is Paper Cards The Artist Issue. It's basically a magazine for cardists and card collectors, I believe. 46 pages and dude, check this out. Look at this artwork on the last page. Damn, that looks good. Also, you remember this guy. That's Pat Kuo. He's the guy behind uh, Figure 52 and makes awesome t-shirts. He's also doing an interview in this. Lots of great artwork as well. And right now, it's only being sold for £6, which is really, really cheap for a 46-page uh, booklet. So yeah, if you want to find out more about this, check out at card underscore what. Really, really recommended. Let's check out the stickers that they sent. Paper cuts. Paper cuts, paper cuts, paper cuts, paper cuts, paper cuts. Very nice. Is there one more? Nope. There you go. I'll probably be using this. Really cool. And right now, let's take a look at the second package. Ooh, this one from Art of Play. Very nice. Whenever Art of Play sends me a package, I'm, I'm really excited. I believe these are going to be the lucky, the lucky draw playing cards. Based on what I have been seeing on Instagram, these few days. Take it out. I don't think there's anything extra this time. Uh, it's just the deck. So let's take a look. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ooh, it isn't. It isn't Lucky Draw playing cards. This time they sent over casual playing cards. V2. I didn't know there was a V1. Let me, let me go in. Ah, these ones. These are the original casual playing cards. They sent over V2. V2 seems to use a much more interesting color palette than the V1s. V1s look kind of... Let me, let me do that white balance thing. So yeah, the V1s look like this. The V2s look like this. I have a feeling that I'm going to like these ones much more than these ones just based on the color palette of the box. So let's get into it. Come on, USPCC, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Is this going to be a first try? Promising. Promising. Let's go. USPCC! Oh no. I don't know what USPCC has done, but the seal is sticking to the cellophane. The other side is sticking as well. Oh no. Oh. Elvin Herb recently made a video on opening the seal up using some special cutting tools. But I am not really a fan of that. I prefer just using my thumb, going in, kaka, open it up. Before we go inside, let's take a look at the box. The casual V2s use a lot of embossing on the box. All these triangles here, this triangle here, and this, this triangle here, they all feel raised. 
and the white you see the white part over here it's not a perfectly flat surface it's actually bumpy very interesting these cards are designed by Paul Robaya who has came out with some of my favorite recent deck designs also the casual over here is embossed can you see it? pretty cool oh wow two jokers they look like this one double back card and one add card and I have to say this add card looks super good super nice look at the gold ink on there oh wow now let's take a look at the back design a heavy emphasis of diagonal lines forming triangles and diamonds and rhombuses it makes use of colors such as teal gold and black just three colors this time and also white but I'm not sure if you want to consider that a color on the deck. It's also interesting to note that Paul has chosen to go with gold ink as opposed to gold foil. On the edges of the cards are the rough US PCC feel and cutting. And when it comes to fanning, naturally, it feels like US PCC fanning quality, which is very nice. These cards are moderately soft and seem to have quite a nice spring to them. Now, obviously because we are the professional real magic of Jasper's deck, we have to... Two of diamonds. No! No! These cards are absolutely perfect for doing double lifts. Mm -mm -mm. So good for double lifts. Now, let's take a look at the face cards as well. This is the Ace of Spades. Looks nice. Two of Spades generally normal looking it almost feels as if the tip of the spit is a bit longer than usual but i'm not 100 percent sure about that three of spits four spits five six seven eight, nine oh 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 wow do you see this look at this jack of spits what a handsome jack of spits and more so look at the gold and black oh, the, con the contrast is beautiful the, the contrast mm, so beautiful queen of spits King of Spades, very nice. Ace of Hearts is red. I am not surprised. We go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, look at that! The gold versus the black versus the red. Oh, wow, that looks good. It's a very minimalist design. Paul has removed a lot of the details in the court cards. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice. Let's take a look at which direction the cards feral from. So we take half of the deck and nope not bottom to top how about top to bottom boom perfect the deck is I'm not 100% sure but I think this deck is B sock and crushed these cards really do feel quite good and I guess these black lines over here makes it really pretty when the cards spin check this out Ooh, wow So let's take a look at the cards in movement. Very nice. After playing with the casual V2s for a while, I have come to a decision with regards to what and who this deck is for. In my opinion, this is a deck that has been designed more for cardistry. Oh, oh yeah, we haven't shown the reverse fan. Let's, let's take a look at that. That looks great. Oh wow, the shining gold is its a nice touch. Well, yeah, back to what I was saying. In my opinion, this deck, the casual V2s, are designed more for cardists than for magicians. The blocks of black over here, 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 and here, in conjunction with the contrast against the gold and green, makes it very pleasant to look at when it spins, kind of like this. At the same time, it also maintains the reds and blacks of the conventional cards, which makes it easier for a magician to use for a layman audience. I'm not sure if these decks were designed specifically to target the collector market though because the collector market is more interested in limited edition stuff, hyped up stuff, whereas this one is way more casual. It's a deck that makes me want to use it. It's a deck that makes me feel like, wow, these design changes to the cards and the backs of the cards specifically really helps my cardistry look 
just a little bit more cool. So yeah, that's it guys. That's my look at the casual V2 playing cards. Shouts to Paul Robaya for sending these to me. These cards, I like them. If you want to get yourself some of these cards, you can go and check out Art of Play. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'm not sure if there's going to be a vlog tomorrow because tomorrow, NDO, the new deck order, is going to receive a gigantic shipment of playing cards. Get hyped guys. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye bye!